thank you for clicking on the video. As many of you know, the last five years or so, we have seen one false prophet after another echoing what Harold Camping claimed regarding the Jesuit contrived secret rapture that they claim precedes a seven year tribulation period. Lately, we have seen that same Jesuit lie go forth repeatedly all over YouTube and the mainstream media. We saw them claim the seven year trib would begin on September 23rd as well as October 21st, and now we hear they're saying October 31st is the new date for the start of the seven year trip. Now, I'm not going to get into showing how the Jesuits twisted the prophecy of the book of Daniel's chapter 7, 8, and 12, because I already did that in my September 11, 2017 video, which exposed the September 23rd false prophet. But because the emails keep coming in and the comments are still being posted asking about the seven-year trib, I thought I should make a video showing how one simple verse in scripture blows the literal doors off this Jesuit contrived and Vatican approved false prophecy. And yes, there's a sinister reason for it. That one Bible verse is something that Jesus says in Matthew 24, verse 36, which was, But of the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Now, yes, I have used that verse in every video I made exposing the false prophets of September 23rd and October 21st, but most keep missing my point, and so I will say it plainly for all to hear. The seven-year trib concoction was penned for three reasons by the Jesuits. Number one, it makes the great tribulation that Jesus spoke of in Matthew chapter 24 appear to come at the end of the world, when in fact that great tribulation happened exactly as the prophet Daniel predicted between the years 538 AD to 1798 AD, wherein hundreds of millions of Christians were tortured and killed by the Roman Catholic popes, priests, and prelates. And number two, their false prophecy makes Christ out to be a liar twice, in that it literally dictates that all the wicked that are left behind will know the exact date Jesus splits the eastern sky, because according to the Jesuits, after all the Christians are secretly taken to heaven one day, all the wicked need to do now is calculate his return by counting forward exactly seven years, and they will have the exact date of his return, even though Jesus said... No man's going to know that date. And number three, for them to claim the wicked now know the date and the obedient Christians who supposedly left seven years prior didn't know that date means the Lord lied through his apostle Peter when he said in Acts chapter 10 verse 34 that God is no respecter of persons, but the Jesuits make him out to look like he is by giving the date to some and not to others. This false prophecy of Rome makes the Bible come off as faulty, while at the same time belittles the author of it. And this is actually the Vatican's main foundation for membership in the Roman Catholic Church. And for those that were confused by that statement, I have a page on my website titled, Why Rome Hates Sola Scriptura wherein I show why Rome hates the Bible as much as they do, wherein they declare ecclesiastical power over it, power to change it, and even power to kill anyone that reads it. Thank you for watching. God bless.